Okay, in this, this video, what we're going to do is we're going to create a custom invitation. It's going to be a, a square invitation. That's going to be the finish size. It's going to be squared. And it's going to be, um, you know, it's going to fold. It'll have a typical half fold folding from side to side. And it'll also have a panel that will fold down from the top. So basically, there are going to be two folds, one vertical fold and one horizontal fold. So it'll have it'll be six panels total, three panels on one side, three panels on the other side. So let's get started. We're going to start off by saying, okay, I'm going to say, even though I know it's going to be a six-page document, I'm going to say give me four pages, make them facing pages, okay, and I'm going to make it a 51 by 51, I'm using pikas, 51 by 51 square, and I'll say, okay. So now what you're going to see is I'm going to get something that looks like this. It'll have four pages, all right? And I'm going to highlight all four pages. And I'm going to go up here to the page panel. And I'm going to say, I'm going to click off on Allow Document Pages to Shuffle. So that I'll put page two next to page one and page four next to page three. Now here's the deal. This InDesign will not allow you to stack pages. You can make spreads, but you cannot stack pages. So what we're going to do is we're going to use an InDesign hack. And what we're going to do is look up, go up to the uh, control strip at the very top, and you want to make sure your reference point is set in the center at the bottom. In the center at the bottom. Then we're going to tap on the page tool, and we're going to, we're going to double the 51. We'll say we know that 51 twice is 102. We'll say 102, and we'll do like so. So as you can see, it increased it twice the size going up from the bottom. And for, for the back, it's going to be page 4. We tap on page 4. We make that 102. So now you have the front side, which would be page 1, has the top fold. Or it could be the other way around. doesn't make a difference. All right, But they have to be opposite. So now that we have that, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the guide tool, or we're going to go make sure you're on, make sure you're on page one. Tap there. Bring down a guide outside of the actual pages. All right. And then you can put down anywhere. And then you can say, because it's it's going to be on the in the center, you want to let that go down. Um, you'll make that Y point. Uh, make sure now you're at the um, make sure you have your 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 guide selected, all right. And you want to come down 51 pikas from the top, okay. So now you can see that's right in the middle, all right. And then what we can do is we can bring down another guide also on the outside, all right. And we're going to make sure that um, that one is going to be um, 51 minus three, so that would be. 40. Well, actually, instead of trying to figure it out, what you could do is bring it down to 51. All right. All right. And then while it's still selected, you could say minus three. All right. And then you could do the same thing. Um, you could bring this down to the center. All right. Which would be 51. All right. And then you can say plus three. All right. Plus three. So now you have your you have your center fold, which is that dotted line, and then you have the these guides right here will represent the margins. Now you highlight both of them, copy that, tap on page three, do a paste in place. So now you have these guides on both sides of your document, and now you have your six panel uh, custom fold from the side, side to side, and also the top panel folding down. And that's the best way to do it in InDesign. Hopefully that helps.